What's up everyone? My name is Mitch and today I want to talk to you guys about stream stream direction. Hmm. Let's try that again. What's up everyone? My name is Mitch and today I want to talk to you guys about screen direction. Now screen direction is the direction within your frame that characters or objects are facing. We see this a lot in dialogue scenes where one character is facing to the left side of the screen and when we cut to the other person that they're talking to, they're facing the right side of the screen. And uh, subconsciously we already put this together that they are talking to each other. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit more about screen direction and how you can really dive deep into it to help tell your story. And I'm going to be talking about the short film slash music video that I did called A Guide to Moving On. And if you haven't seen that, I'm going to put it in a link in the description below. Watch it and then come back to this so you can really understand the parts that I'm talking about when I talk about screen direction. But let's just talk about it. In the first act, Nikita breaks up with Nick. And throughout the whole first act, we see Nick facing the left side of the screen. And that is showing that he is moving backwards, not moving forward. And on the other hand, Nikita is facing the right side of the screen the whole time, showing that she is moving on and moving forward with her life. And now we move to Act 2, where we're getting mixed directions from both characters, showing that they are trying to move on, but it's hard. And in this scenario, where Nick is moving to the right of the screen while he's walking, shows that he is pushing forward and trying to move on. But once he makes the decision to go back and try to find Nikita, he runs towards the left side of the screen, showing that he is again moving backwards until he realizes that she isn't there when he gets back. He then moves back towards the right of the screen, showing that he must push on and move forward with his life. Now we get to Act 3, where both characters are in a better part of their lives. They are finally starting to move on and become comfortable with the outcome of their situation. They both, for the most part, point towards the right side of the screen, until the ending, where we show Nick kind of let go of everything that he's been holding on to by throwing the paper airplane, and then... He's walking towards the right side of the screen, and as Nikita is walking towards him, she's actually walking towards the left side of the screen. And she doesn't even know it, but she's moving backwards once she finds the paper airplane on the ground. And when she reads what Nick has wrote, she looks up and sees him, and Nick is stopped dead in his tracks from moving forward because she is moving backwards. And now they are stuck in the same place together once again. And that is one of the ways you can use screen direction as a powerful tool to help tell your visual story. I hope you're able to learn something from this and take this information and use it in your own films. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Or don't. It's free country. You do whatever you want. Um, but I still want you to know that I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you in the next video.